There's a brand new SMG in Modern Warfare 3 called the HRM9, and this might be my new go-to submachine gun. This weapon is very consistent, it feels great, and it has the stats to compete with the best weapons in this game. If you're new to Worst to Best Reviews, in this video I'll be deep diving the important stats and the best class setups for the HRM9, and then at the end I'll give it a rating between 1 and 5 stars, which can be used to compare the HRM to other weapons in other videos directly. Let's start off with the HRM's damage. What I love about this weapon is its consistency. It will kill in 5 shots anywhere to the body within its max damage range of 17 meters. This equates to a 272 millisecond time to kill, which is only 8 milliseconds slower than the Rival 9, which is commonly referred to as the best SMG in the game right now. So it's essentially the same time to kill. On top of that, the HRM9 has nearly double the range of the Rival 9, so there's 100% scenarios where the HRM will be outgunning the Rival 9. The damage will then drop off to a 6 shot kill from 17 to 29 meters, then there's a small window where it will be a 7 shot kill, and then finally it will drop off to an 8 shot kill anywhere to the body beyond 31 meters. To put these numbers into perspective, the HRM9 is on par with the Rival 9 from close to mid range, but once you reach 30 meters, the Rival 9 simply has better range stats. The Rival 9 will have the potential to kill much faster if you're accurate and can land your shots to the upper body. But we're comparing the HRM to the Rival 9 here. The Rival 9 is arguably OP, so don't let that fool you into thinking the HRM 9 isn't good. The HRM 9 is great. Speaking of accuracy, it has some strong jump somewhere within the first five shots, but after that, the spread is very tight, and I would say it's less than average recoil. With attachments, the HRM is very, very easy to handle. Somewhat related to recoil, the HRM's bullet velocity is below average at 480 meters per second. This is slightly better than the Rival 9's bullet velocity, but with the right attachments, this is an SMG where you can challenge players across the map like you can with the Rival 9. As for handling and mobility, aim down sight speed is average, sprint to fire is faster than average for submachine guns, which I love to see for SMGs, it gives you a lot of wiggle room in your class setups. Movement speeds are on spot average, uh, the one downside and the only downside for the HRM in my opinion is its reload speed. It has the slowest reload for Modern Warfare 3 SMGs at 3.2 seconds. Until now, all the Modern Warfare 3 SMGs had a reload speed within 0.3 seconds of each other. There wasn't much difference, but the HRM is noticeably slower. It is half a second slower than the slowest SMG. Without a doubt, the HRM9 has very strong base stats, and that means there's a lot of different ways that you can go about building it. This class setup I'm sharing uses attachments to significantly improve your bullet velocity. That's something I've kind of been obsessed with doing lately with my weapon setups. I'm not entirely sure why, it just feels nice. This also has more range, faster mobility. The recoil has some jump between like the first and second shot, but then it's a straight line afterwards, and you get a suppressor to stay off the radar. ADS and sprint to fire are essentially the same. There's really no downsides. I mean, the only downside is hip fire, but it's an SMG, so it's still tight. That brings us to the HRM's rating out of five stars. This weapon felt great from the start without any attachments equipped whatsoever. And a lot of the traits I love about this weapon, its consistency, its damage output, it's easy to use, all of those are validated by the HRM strong base stats. So this is easily a 4 out of 5 star weapon. It is very, very, very good. It fills in the gap that the Striker SMGs failed to fulfill. Although the Striker 9 is much stronger with its buff it got in the Season 1 Reloaded update, but the Striker 9 still has some wonky recoil that I'm not much of a fan of. The HRM9 is much more versatile. The only thing, well not the only thing, but what holds this weapon back from being a 5 out of 5 star weapon is its slower reload and it kinda just being average with uh, all of its handling stats. The HRM it does kill fast, but the gap between the HRM and the next fastest killing SMG isn't quite as large as the Rival 9 situation before the HRM was introduced into the game. 
it definitely competes with the rival nine but the rival kills faster while retaining near best aim down sight sprint to fire and mobility in class and that's exactly what it takes to be the best out of the best five star unarguably meta weapons in my opinion the hrm9 is very 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 strong though and 100 percent is worth unlocking and trying out that's my opinion though if you disagree you're always welcome to share your opinion in the comments if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to tap that like button get subscribed to the channel if you haven't seen any of the videos popping up on the screen now make sure you check them out great content uh but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one